hello everyone so today we will be starting a new topic uh, which is finite difference method so the basic philosophy of the finite difference method is to express derivatives in terms of suitable algebraic differences using taylor series expansion let us consider a one dimensional domain like this the domain can be represented by a collection of discrete grid points and the distance between discrete point is h let us say we have a node i at a distance x from the left boundary then the subsequent node on the right hand side is i plus 1 and the one on the left hand side is i minus 1 we are interested in expressing function f of x plus h in terms of function f of x so let us recall the taylor series expansion where f of x plus h can be represented as f of x plus h times f prime x plus h square by 2 factorial times f double prime x plus higher order terms. Similarly, we can also write f of x minus h is equal to f of x minus h times f prime x plus h square by 2 factorial times f double prime x plus higher order term. Suppose we are interested in algebraic ex expression of f prime x, then there are different ways you can derive that. For example, using equation 1, we can write f prime x is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h plus h by 2 times f double prime x plus higher order terms. Suppose we consider only the first term on the right hand side and we neglect the higher order terms which encircled here. Then the resultant expression has a truncation error of the order of h. Likewise if we consider equation 2 then f prime x is represented as f of x minus f of x minus h divided by h plus h by 2 times f double prime x plus higher order terms. Here also we will consider only the first term on the right hand side and will neglect the higher order terms as encircled. Then this approximation also has a truncation error of the order of h. Okay, so is there any other way to express f prime x? Just look at the equation 1 and equation 2. Pause this video and think for a while. Okay, so here is another way to express f prime x. Just subtract x equation 2 from equation 1. By performing this operation, you will get f prime x is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x minus h divided by 2h plus h square by 3 factorial times f triple prime x plus higher order terms. Here also we will consider only the first term on the right hand side and neglect the higher order terms. So the resultant expression has a truncation error of the order of h square. Okay, so let us rewrite all three expression of f prime x. So the first expression which was derived from equation 1 is called forward difference approximation because here we are moving from f of x to f of x plus h. The second expression of f prime x which was derived from equation 2 is called backward difference, difference approximation because here we are moving from f of x to f of x minus h. The third expression of f prime x which was derived by subtracting equation 2 from equation 1 is called central difference approximation because here f of x is a central point between f of x plus h and f of x minus h. So, so far we have discussed method to represent f prime x, but what if we want to uh, express f double prime x? So, this we will see in, in the upcoming lecture. Okay, so remember that uh, these formulations are derived only for the first order derivatives, but we can do the similar things for the second or order derivatives that is f double prime x. So let us try to derive that. So let us uh, say that we are interested to express f double prime x. So we have equation 1 and 2. Here I have added few more additional terms. So this is the expression of f x plus h. And similarly we will have expression for f of x minus h. Now if you add equation 1 and 2, we will get on the left hand side f of x plus h plus f of x minus h. Where on the right hand side we will have a 2 times f of x plus 2 times f h square by 2 factorials into f double prime x plus 2 times h to the power 4 by 4 factorials into f to the power 4 prime x plus additional terms. So here we are interested to find f double prime x so we can rearrange these terms so f double prime x can be written as f of x plus h plus 
minus 2 times f of x plus f of x minus h divided by h square minus h square divided by 12 into f4 prime x plus higher order terms. Here also we will consider only the first term on the right hand side and we will neglect the higher order terms. So this expression has a truncation error of the order of h square. So the final expression of f double prime x is called central difference formulation for the second order derivatives. Okay, so now the important question is how do we make use of this formula? To understand that, uh, let us consider an example of one dimensional steady state heat conduction. So this is our one dimensional computational domain uh, where the left hand boundary is position at x equal to 0 and the right hand boundary is position at x equal to L. If we talk about the boundary conditions, then the left hand boundary is maintained at an adiabatic condition that is Q heat flux is equal to 0. The right hand boundary is maintained at constant temperature of TL that is T equal to TL. Now the, now the equation which govern the heat transfer in this problem uh, can be expressed as a d by dx uh, into k times dt by dx is equal to 0 where k is the thermal conductivity of the domain. If we assume that the thermal conducti conductivity k is constant uh, then k can be taken out of the bracket and the resultant expression is k times d square t by dx square is equal to 0. So here we have a second order derivative terms that is d square t by dx square and we want to express this term in terms of a difference quantity. We are free to choose forward difference, backward difference or central difference uh, formulation. The central difference formulation is a good one because uh, the truncation error corresponding to central difference is of the order of h square. Hence it is more accurate as compared to the other two methods. Now before implementing the finite difference approximation, let us represent the domain using finite number of nodes. So here uh, we are using 5 nodes where node 1 and 5 are boundary nodes and node 2, 3 and 4 are intermediate nodes. For any node i, uh, we will have a corresponding neighboring nodes as i plus 1 and i minus 1. So if you recall the central difference uh, formulation uh, then f double prime x uh, is written as f of x plus h minus 2 times f of x plus f of x minus h divided by h square. So here we are interested to calculate temperature at all discrete nodes. Hence the central difference formulation in terms of temperature can be written as d square t by dx square is equal to t of i plus 1 minus 2 times t of i plus t of i minus 1 divided by h square where h is the distance between two nodes. It is important to note here that this approximation is only valid for the intermediate nodes that is node number 2, 3 and 4 not for the boundary nodes. So this is the final expression uh, which is equal to k times the finite difference approximation in terms of temperature that is t of i plus 1 minus 2 times t of i plus t of i minus 1 divided by s square is equal to 0 and it is valid only for the intermediate intermediate nodes 2, 3 and 4. If you wonder why it is not applicable for node number 1 and node number 5 then just see the formulation. Here we required at least 3 nodes and if you talk about the boundary node 1 then we don't have any node on the left hand side of node 1. Likewise for the right hand boundary node 5 no node is available at the right hand side. Hence this formulation is only valid for the intermediate node 2, 3 and 4. Now let us write this finite difference appro approximation for the intermediate nodes. Okay, so this is final formulation of finite difference approximation and on the right hand side we have our computational domain. So in order to derive equation for grid number 2, uh, we will put i equal to 2 in the above equation and we will get k times t3 minus 2 times t2 plus t1 divided by h square is equal to 0. Similarly for grid point 3, we will put i equal to 3 and we will get k times t4 minus 2 times t3 plus t2 divided by h square is equal to 0 and similarly for grid point 4 we will get k times t5 minus 2 times t4 plus t3 divided by h square is equal to 0. Now what is missing here is the boundary condition. So it is given that the right hand boundary is maintained at temperature TL and hence we can say that 
T5 is equal to TL. Now if you talk about the boundary node 1, then adiabatic boundary condition is given. Uh, that is Q is equal to 0. Now Q can be expressed as a K times DT by DX at node 1. Now we have a differential terms DT by DX which can be expressed using difference terms uh, with the help of finite difference formulation and that is uh, we will use forward difference formulations so this formulation can be written as k times t2 minus t1 divided by h and obviously this is equal to 0 so this formulation ultimately leads us to t1 is equal to t2 in mathematical sense uh, we can say that t1 equal to t2 and t2 equal to t1 are same but when we write our computer code uh, these two expressions are very different and this will be clear when we write our code so at the end we have derived uh, three equations for the intermediate nodes and two equations for the boundary nodes so total we have five equations and five unknowns so we can solve for t1 t2 t3 t4 and t5 so with this uh, we have understood the basic implementation philosophy of the finite difference method.